these days a lot of people has been complaining about the ios 26 beta version right and they've been complaining that it has a lot of bugs it uh, causes their phone to freeze and a lot of people are also experiencing network issues with their device so today i decided to um, make a video on how to downgrade the ios 26 back to ios 18 okay so for now the ios 26 the official version has not been released yet and that means it is still the trial version so to do that all you have to do it is head straight to ipsw.me and then you're going to select iphone and make sure to select your iphone so i'm working on iphone 16 then we need to find the current um file and you can see we have ios uh, 18.5 and ios 18.6 so at the time i recorded this video the ios 18.5 was still valid but for now uh you can actually get the ios 18.6 as well then all you're gonna need is your itunes software or tree u software which is a free software that you can actually use to downgrade your iphone device down to ios 18 all right so in this process you can't actually downgrade your device uh, with your mobile phone just like the way we um update it this time around you are going to need a pc or a macbook for this process and all you have to do is put your device into recovery mode it's very simple you turn off your device you hold the volume down and the power then you plug in the usb cable and the device is going to boot into recovery mode all right so since you have already downloaded the firmware which i showed you on the ipsw website the next thing that you have to do is to import the firmware onto your itunes software all right so but uh, my itunes software seems to be outdated and it is asking me to update the software to latest version but for the sake of this video i don't want to waste so much time but if you want to import the firmware from your pc to the itunes you need to hold the shift button on your keyboard and then you select restore and this is going to pop up your windows folder and then you can locate wherever you have downloaded and saved your file so you just copy it from there and then it is going to automatically import to the itunes software Once you have located the firmware, you double click on it and then you import it and the process should start. All right. But because my iTunes is already outdated, I'm just going to move on and use the three u tools to complete this process so that I won't make this video too long. All right. So let me go ahead and launch the three u tools. Guys, the process is very very simple and all you have to do is to follow my steps once you launch the unlocked uh, sorry the three u tools then um, you click on iDevice and also click on go flash it is going to redirect you to this page here where you are going to import your firmware and once you have imported your firmware you can see that the iOS 18.5 firmware has been imported successfully okay and then uh, you can see it's clear and all you have to do is select it once you have selected we are going to go ahead and then click on flash make sure that you select the quick flash mode during this process so um, before you start uh, using the 3U tools or iTunes to downgrade your device from 
iOS 26 to iOS 18, you need to make sure that you back up your device. Back up your device so that you will not lose any data. Okay, so once you have back up your device, you select the iOS 18.5 firmware. Then the next thing is to use the quick flash mode. And when you select the quick flash mode, then you click on flash and then the process should begin. In this process, you only need um, a quality USB cable and you need a fast, stable internet. A PC or a MacBook will be perfect for this process. All right, then let us wait for the device to process and then we can continue from there. If you see this on your screen, which is the congratulations, clean flash completed, it means that your device has been successfully flashed. And all you have to do is wait for the device to boot back to the main menu so that we can set up the device and then everything should be working perfectly. All right, so once the device boots to the main menu, you should be able to see it on the 3U tools here. And the next thing that we ought to do is to set up the device. Okay, all you have to do is to enter the correct passcode or enter your email address and password, which is your iCloud account. Then the next thing we are going to do is just after entering your details, then you set up the device as it was before. Alright, so that is all the process on how you can downgrade any of your iPhone device from iOS 26 down to iOS 18.5. Okay, so it's very simple. Guys, make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and we'll continue the conversation in the comment section. Stay blessed.